Hi, I'm Mike Handberger with Tricky Fast Studios. This is the second video in the series for building Pong with Cat Game Builder. In this video, I'm going to show how to build the ball. So now let's create a new sprite. And make that into the ball. Right. Let's make that. That smaller, so it's the right size. Let's put it right in the middle of everything. Okay. And now on the ball, we want to add a state machine. And we want to add a value holder because that's going to keep track of our scores. And then we're going to add a rigid body. And we're also going to add a circle collider and an audio source. All right, for the audio source, we're going to set the clip to be our little boop noise. And now let's go up top here. Look at this namespace. So there's nothing in it. So we need to add a couple things. We need to add a random vector three so that we can start the ball off in a random direction. And then we need to add two integers, one for each score. And let's come over here and just rename these, all this random dir. And we'll set the range from five, five, zero with a minimum of three, three, zero. We'll call this one left score and this one right score. Okay, now we can start adding some states. Over here on the state machine, let's add a new state. We'll call that reset. So in the reset state, we're going to move the, the ball back to the start position, which is zero, zero, zero. So let's do a move action here. The destination now, since we want it to be an absolute position, we're going to set it to none. And then we want to show the offset, which is zero, zero, zero. And we want to do it with a zero speed or zero duration so that it's instant. The next thing to add is a set velocity because we also want it to not be moving. So that's already set up. So it targets the owner and then the new velocity is zero, zero, zero. So it's going to be stationary. After that, we're going to change the state and we're going to change it to start. So now it's going to yell at us because we need to set the initial state. But here we go. We can add a new state. We'll call that new state start. In the start state, we want an action list because what we want to do is whenever a new sort of match starts, you want to have the ball sit there for a second and then start moving. So. In our new state, we're going to add an action list, right? We're going to make that serial, which it's the default. And we're going to add a delayed action so that we can delay it. And then an apply force action. As you can see, you can just keep adding actions at the same level here if you want. So apply force. And then we want to start playing. So we're going to change state, so change state. 
All right, so the delay, we're doing one second delay. The apply force, the force amount is gonna be set to that random uh, value that we, we specified. So owner, random dir. And then we wanna set this to impulse. And now for the change state action, we're gonna to change to the playing state. Okay. And now, let's add the playing state. All right, in the playing state, we wanna detect whether the ball collides with anything and then play a sound. That's one thing we wanna do. So, let's add a trigger here for collision trigger. Okay. And then under the collision or under the triggered action, we need to add an action, which should be the play sound action. So for the trigger, the collide target is going to be none, which means anything. And for the play sound action, the target's owner, we're going to play the boop. Set the volume up a bit and keep playing after start so that we don't have to wait for this boop to finish before it goes on to something else. And we also don't want it to stop if this action gets stopped. So we want to add some more collision triggers to test whether we've hit one of the, the barriers on the left or right. And when you hit one of those, that means that the other player scored a point. So let's go over here and under triggers, we'll add two more collision triggers. And the first one, the collide target is gonna be named and we're gonna name that the left barrier. Right, and the other one, the collide target, is also gonna be named, and we're gonna name that the right barrier. So now we need some actions under here. And the action under here, there's gonna be two actions. The first one's gonna be, we wanna increase the score. So for, to do that, we're gonna modify an integer value. And then we wanna change the state to the reset state. So we'll add a change state as well. So for modify integer value, we wanna look on owner and we wanna call that right score because when it hits the left barrier, it's gonna increase the right side score. And we're gonna add one and then we're gonna save that out in the right score. So the way this works is it's target value over here equals source value plus, according to this operation, modification amount. All right, and then over here we need to enter a state. So we're gonna go back to the reset state. Let's just put that in there. And Over here for the second triggered action, well, we can just paste that in. Except for it pasted it in the wrong order, so we just need to reorder them. And instead of right score here, we're gonna do add to the left score. Okay. So, just to review, in playing, we have a collision trigger that plays a sound whenever it hits anything. We have another collision trigger that only collides with the left barrier. And when that happens, it increases the right score by one and goes to the reset state. We have another triggered action, which is a collision trigger that only collides with the right barrier. And when that happens, it increases the left score 
and back, it goes to the reset state. That's it on the ball. In this video, you should have created a ball that makes sounds and keeps score. In the next video, we'll build the other paddle for the AI. I hope you found this video informative and useful. For more information on CAT and how it can help you prototype and build games faster, please visit trickyfast.com/cat. I'm Mike Hanberger with Tricky Fast Studios. Thanks for watching.